time for our round table. Can you imagine being married couple and your spouse says, hey, listen, we ain't engaging in any little hanky panky. I want my own room. <laughs> Well, what would you say to that? That's actually the situation that Ryan Crawley is in after asking his wife to start using separate bedrooms since they already have separate bathrooms. Mm. But his wife drew the line and said, no way. Mm -hmm. It might sound a little weird to some folks. All right, but many couples actually across the country are sleeping separately under the same roof. Jackson, how do you think that mainly this choice impacts relationship dynamics as well as quality of life? Gosh, I think I think couples do the separate bedrooms for separate reasons, but I think um, intimacy is still important, whether it's cuddling or whether it's quote unquote the hanky panky. So I think that there's something that needs to be discussed there. Now, if it's a snoring issue or a yeah. health issue or a scheduling issue where you're up at midnight and your spouse doesn't get up until 8 a.m., that makes sense to me. But just because you're maybe going the separate ways, I think that only adds more distance in the relationship. I think so. And it's one of those where, you know, traditionally we always think you're supposed to sleep in the same bed. Matt, yeah. your thoughts on this? Look, my parents were married for 37 years and for about 30 of that, they lived on separate ends of the house. Now, my dad had a non-normal job, so he was, you know, coming home at 3, 4 in the morning, and he snored like a bear. But, I mean, they were married for 30, 37 years, so, I mean, it worked yeah. out for them. It's completely it, opposite ends of the house. It, apparently, uh, it does that. It, it also means, though, if uh, one of person is in the other person's bedroom, it's a reason why they're there. So, I mean, maybe that's a, <laughs> like a visual cue, I guess you could say. Um, I, I could see, like, if you, let's say you had a spare bedroom, in the house and it you know there's times where like you know i have these allergy of fits that i have or, or i can't sleep at night and i want to watch tv so i can go to sleep you know getting up and going to the other room um but there is something always different i know liza tells me he's like oh, i miss you being next to you yeah. and i wake up in the morning so i could totally get that however as as both of you said if it works for the couple you know who's for us to, to judge yeah. right I mean, what's different than two couples living long distance relationships in separate cities, right? If they're That's married and one lives in New York and one lives in LA or whatever, and you're technically in different bedrooms, right? Separate, definitely separate bedrooms in that case. And, um, yeah, but Matt, when you got scared at night, whose room did you go into? I went to my mom. My dad was, I, I, let, I let him do whatever he was doing in that room. I, I didn't go in there a lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Bobby's smart. Actually, really yeah. smart. All right. Thank you, uh, guys. And, of course, we'd love to hear what you have to think on this subject. Mm -hmm. We'd love for you to drop us an email. Go to our website, dailyflashshow.com, or you can just drop us an email. Just a simple flash at dailyflashshow.com. Let us know your thoughts. Separate bedrooms, good idea. Do you at your house have your own bedroom? And is it working out? Great. We'd love to hear your thoughts and we'll share with it with our national audience right here on Daily Flash.